everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, it seems like there's a lot of new faces in here. We've got new cars in the channel, so I kind of want to reintroduce myself. My name is David Van Voris, and this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, this is the Van Voris Garage, aka the Mopar Club. Was the Mopar Club. I don't know if I'll be allowed to park in here now, but um, this is our little shop that we have back here. It's nothing special, it's just really a place for us to work on the vehicles. That is my brother's 2018 Dodge Demon, if you didn't know. He has a charger that sits right here, but it does have a blown motor, so it is on its way actually at this moment to Livernoy Motorsports in Detroit, Michigan to get a built block to be ready for TX2K. It is a very fast, low nine second charger. Uh, we have a Trackhawk also. Kevin has it at work. And uh, when I go out to the front, I'll show you guys the Ram, that is my tow vehicle, aka daily driver. Um, but yeah, this is our shop. It's a freaking mess in here because we just got back from Houston uh, a week ago and uh, we just haven't had time to clean up. I mean, there's just freaking E85, tires everywhere, shit all over the place. Man, we really got to clean this place up. Um, and a drum of E85. Woo! So, right now, the reason why we have the drum is because the 85 here locally is testing like. Someone said in the 50s, I don't know if I believe that. I think it's like low 70s, but it's not very good. So we have a drum of it. It's from, uh, I believe that one's from Lubbock. Uh, Stripes in Lubbock, which is testing really good. So let's go to the front garage, check out the Ram, and then we'll get this video started. And this, this is Cupcake. Say hi, Cupcake. All right, guys, so there is my 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie. This is the uh, tow vehicle, which is very dirty right now. And my daily driver. This is my sister-in-law's JL Rubicon two-door. Like I said, guys, I wasn't kidding when I said it's Mopar around here. So the only non-Mopar vehicle here now is, oh, she's right there, look at that. So the newest addition the 2018 Mustang GT 10 speed. Looking very good. Oof, that looks good. So guys, first things first to start today off, I'm gonna wash the Mustang because I have not washed it since I got back. My truck's really dirty too, but I'm gonna wash that at a different, different time. I really wanna wash the Mustang, get it clean, and actually get some pictures of it today, and then we'll get to the rest of this video. But first we gotta wash it. I'm gonna rinse it down, foam it, foam it again, scrub it, and then rinse it down again and dry it off. I'm not too worried about the paint right now because Ceramic Pro, uh, Travis McNutt should be in town in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna see if we can get the Mustang paint corrected and then put a ceramic coating on to pre protect that nice orange, fury looking paint. So let's get this thing washed. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell are you wearing a hoodie and pants in Texas? It's freaking 40 degrees out, it's freezing, but I gotta wash this car. So we got our stuff set up. I know, you're supposed to use the two bucket method, but my other bucket is kind of ruined right now. And like I said, we're gonna get the paint corrected anyway. So let's get washing this thing. Alright guys, the Mustang is all clean, just gotta dry it off. I brought it inside that way, kind of avoid some water spots and having to scrub the shit out of it. So yeah, it's pretty clean right now, just gotta dry it off. But man, do I love this color. Thumbs up if you like the Fury Orange. It looks so much cooler in person. It's kind of hard to tell on camera how cool it is, but it's kind of like that construction, orangish yellow color, but man, does it look cool. Love this color. Alright guys, the Mustang is dried off. God, that's weird to say. Mustang is dried off. Weird to say I have a Mustang. So, we are gonna get some food, we're gonna get some lunch, 
And uh, but first things first, we're gonna head over to the Ford dealer. And uh, I know I just bought this car, it was used. It says it had the oil changed um, and it's good till 20,000. But you never know what oil they put in, how much they put in, and I've read so much crap on this freaking barbecue tick thing. So I'm just gonna put my mind at ease and we're gonna go pick up some 5W50 synthetic from the Ford dealership and we're gonna get a Motocraft oil filter from there. So we'll update you guys when we get over there. I don't know if the camera's gonna stay there. I need to get a different mount for this for this car setup. But we'll see if the camera stays there. I just wanna do a little pull. Don't have 93 here, so that's the best we're gonna get. Some 91 from the Chevron. Holy shit! <laughs> that's the most expensive oil change. I mean, that's like diesel prices. So guys, $104, 10 quarts of 5W50, and one Motorcraft oil filter. Holy shit. <laughs> 10 quarts of oil, that's insane. That's insane. 10 quarts of oil, you still get engine tick. What kind of crap is this? So this is the Ford Motorcraft, what they recommend, 5W50 full synthetic motor oil. And we got our Motorcraft oil filter. So I know a lot of people recommend a lot of different stuff, but with the car being stock at the moment, we're gonna keep with the factory stuff for now. All right guys, we've got our 10 quarts of oil. Holy shit. Oil filter, some jack stands. We're gonna need another drain because that's only a five quart, I think. Oh, we got a demon. What? A demon jack for a Mustang. Damn, Mustang owner's about to be, I mean demon owner's about to be pissed. And we got some wood to chalk the tires. I really need some race ramps and make this a lot easier, but we're gonna get changing this oil. I'm not really gonna show the process because well, there's a thousand people that have already changed their oil on a Mustang Rare on YouTube. So, I'm just gonna change the oil and uh, update you guys when it's done. Let's pop this hood, see what we're working with. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the truth. All right guys, here's the track hawk. It wasn't here yesterday since I was showing you guys the Mopar Club around here. So this is the track hawk. Ooh, it comes with free money too. I'll take that. Uh, it does have air ride. This thing is freaking awesome. Kel and I have a couple videos on this and uh, this thing is pretty badass. I'll get back to the oil change. All right guys, just to keep you informed, I decided to cut open the oil filter. I didn't find any metal shavings. However, you can still have a tick on these. I haven't heard one yet um, that's concerning, but I was just kind of worried and I was kind of intrigued actually. So I just cut this open, couldn't find any metal shavings in there. So that's a plus sign, I guess. I mean, there still could be something wrong, but you know, no worries. So we're gonna finish up this oil change. All right guys, so we got 10 quarts 5W50 in there. We've got the OEM Motocraft oil filter. That's gonna conclude the world's most expensive oil change for a $30,000 car. Let's go ahead and start her up. We did put some oil in the oil filter and then I always put oil, brand new oil, on the uh, oil ring just to make sure everything seals properly. So let's go ahead and start this up. conclude today's video hopefully you guys are enjoying the Mustang content that was an expensive ass oil change but it puts my mind at ease um, because I did buy the car used I mean it came from a Ford dealership it went through their inspection they did all the 
oil change, everything on it, but you never trust what people can do unless you put your own hands on it. That's kind of my philosophy. So I had to change the oil myself, make sure it had the right amount in it, make sure it had the right oil in it. So I'll keep you guys updated on if, if I have any problems with the Mustang, but so far so good. Really excited about the way that this is already going. I've got some huge plans for it already. I can't wait to show you guys. I talked about it on my live feed the other night. And uh, I may have just ordered something else for the Mustang too. So we are alive and kicking on the Mustang. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. We've got caffeine and cars tomorrow if you're in Amarillo, Texas. And we'll see you guys on the next one.